Hi everyone, it's a Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 3 of Let's Build a Shopping District. I'm going to start things off by making some changes that were suggested by you all in the comments of the previous part. I'm going to be speeding the changes up three times so that I don't spend 10 to 20 minutes of this part fixing things that were done previously so we can get on to the new stuff a little quicker. And this, uh, this is something that I do plan to do in future parts as well. First off, in the last part I asked for your thoughts on the roof color. And not a whole lot was said about it in the comments, but David did mention that they preferred the blue roof. And so do I, so that's what I settled on as far as the roof color goes. Also, Sammy JJ said to remove the big plant in the middle there. That was a little bit too busy. So I did get rid of that, and then I just placed some smaller plants to fill in the space there. And moving inside, a lot of you did not like the placement of the stairs. And then I did look back on it. I was just like, what was I thinking? This does not look good at all. So I pretty much just gutted the whole interior layout here. And then Saga made a really good point about that, about how it would be a little bit better if the pub was perhaps under a different building rather than the restaurant and the bakery, how it could be cooler as I could do a secret entrance to it. And I thought about that and realized that, you know what, that actually would work a little bit better since there is a whole lot going on inside of this building. And I believe that was also something that was mentioned by other people in the first part. So what I'm planning to do is place the pub underneath the comic book store because I could give it sort of a cool sci-fi theme. And something else I was thinking was that I could use that bookshelf door, like the door that looks like a bookshelf, and have it be like a secret entrance to it, like have it tucked away in the side. I think that that could be really fun. It could be a lot of fun to have a theme for the the pub. So I'm looking forward to getting to that once I move down the shops a little bit. So right now I'm trying to work out the locations of the doors and the floor plan, all that, because I was originally going to have the kitchen and the bathroom all down on the first floor here, but I, I the problem I ran into is that there wasn't enough space to have the bakery counter. Like, I didn't want to have the counter and have it, there be one tile in front of it because I was planning on having it between that single door going into the kitchen and the window. So what I decided to do was just put the bathroom upstairs and then that way I could have the kitchen go a little further back and allow a little bit more room for the bakery counter. And then another thing was that Conrad Tan suggested having the gift shop downstairs. So I removed it from the upstairs and then right now I am placing the bathroom upstairs. There is one last tweak I wanted to make to the front of the shop here. And the reason why I didn't include it in the sped up it is because it was something I wanted to really show and explain as I did it rather than speeding it up and having it be hard to tell exactly what I'm doing. Swiftly Simmer had this really awesome idea to take some of these outdoor chairs and stack them up kind of like their spare chairs just stacked together that they can pull out of ne as if necessary. And I thought that was a really neat and realistic touch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this trash can here and make a little stack of chairs right here in front of this window. So to do this, I'm going to have to use the move objects cheat, which I do already have on. But I'm not so sure that it's going to work with this chair just because this isn't really the kind of chair that stacks well. So I'm actually going to use this one, but I'm going to, I think the green cushion's a similar color. It doesn't really matter too much. I actually could go with dark blue to go more so with the awning. So I can do it that way and have it be a different color than the other chairs, and these will potentially stack well. So this might actually make it difficult to match up, but we can turn a little bit. I'm actually going to turn it a little, like just ever so slightly, and I think I can, I should be able to match it up. So I'm going to raise it up a little bit to where, actually let me get it. So I'm probably going to do maybe three or four of these stacked together, so I'm going to lower this down a bit because, yeah, I think that's fine because I wanted to get it to where it looks like the cushion of the chair on top is just below the cushion of the other. So these aren't really gonna meet up super perfectly. I probably made it a lot more difficult on myself by turning it, but I don't know. I thought it'd be a little more realistic not have it perfectly straight ahead. So, uh, actually, I think that was... So if I lower it more, it's on the ground. Uh, I mean, it 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 it, it kind of works. Okay, so let's see. 
if I can just line up the cushion right in the center there. And it probably would be pushed a little bit farther ahead. I'm just going to leave it like that um, rather than spending a ton of time trying to get it perfectly aligned. So this one, so I think this one if we do two taps, that should bring it up fine. So we'll just turn it ever so slightly. I'm actually not having too much of an issue getting the turning lined up properly. So we'll just get that right over the other one and push it back a little more. Let's check that out from the side. I actually got this one farther than this one's too far back. I think I'm just going to leave it at those three chairs. I actually really like that. Uh, yeah, so if you look ahead, he, like, from here, I, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it at three chairs. I think that's enough. And Amira suggested having an add-on trinket shop. So rather than having it inside of the building, just have it be an addition that comes out the back here. Which I think could work really well, like, oops, especially since, um, I don't want to get rid of that, not get rid of all the trim. That's really annoying. Um, I can do this. There we go, that gets rid of the trim. And then we just delete this and draw back in the wall. And we are good. Uh, yeah, because some of you weren't really feeling the brick and the trim back here, thought it looked a little bit odd. So if we do add on a trinket shop to the back here, um, it'll add it'll add a little something to the back here, and then we can have that be a different kind of wall paint, and it won't look so odd. Um, so we can have the main entrance to it be from the outside, and then have an entrance to it from inside the bakery as well. And I'll just have it be something little, so we can have it go out. Um, I'll probably furnish this in a later part. And let me just get a roof. So I was thinking that this kind of roof here, like a, a shed kind of roof, could work really well. The only problem is I don't want to cover up those windows too much. So I figured, actually a gable wouldn't work too bad either. And then for now I can give it the same kind of roof. But really it might look a little bit better to give a different roof. Um, you know, like it's, it was added on at different times, so it might not have the exact same roof. But I actually like... Uh, I can try a uh, gabled roof just to see, but I actually like how that roof looks. Or half gable actually is what it is. I don't know why I said shed roof. But let us move it down so it doesn't obstruct the plant boxes as much. And let me go back to the this kind of roof. Yeah, I, I like... I actually, I think that the first kind of roof I have actually looks a bit better. It looks more like an added on area kind of a roof. And then I guess a siding would probably make more sense. So perhaps we could just go with a white siding maybe. Let me make sure that only went on that. Yep, it did. Or we could go with this kind. I think that kind works a little, works a little bit better. Or we could even go with the blue here. That could look pretty neat. Actually, this bright green siding actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to keep the green and blue theme I have for this building going. I'll do other colors for other buildings. But I'll try this. And then what kind of windows? Like, I feel like I feel like this would have some non-shuttered windows on it. Actually, this is probably this is probably where the door would go. So let's find a single tile wide one that looks like it could be on a shop. I think I think this could work. Or this, actually. One of these. Uh, this could be just like a little mom pa kind of thing stuck on the end here. But I do need to figure out the like, what I want as far as windows. Maybe I just won't have windows on that side. I can do windows over here and then windows back here. And as far as this area back here goes, Emily mentioned that it'd be pretty cool to have some planters back here, like where plants for the bakery could be grown. So I can do that. I can also have like the have the trash cans out back here. But now I'm not really feeling this siding. So I'm just gonna go back and try some brick on it. I'm still not sure. We could also try a white brick. Yeah, maybe the white or gray brick actually works. And I could just see how the... No, I'm not so sure about the tin roof. Yeah, this is still something I'm sort of stuck on. But 
for the sake of preserving time, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna get away from that for the rest of this part. Uh, so something I really want to know from you guys is what do you think I should do as far as the wall covering on this? Oh, there is the rock wallpaper here. So this is another option, like a little stone add-on. This might actually be what works. Uh, but yeah, still let me know. That's another really good option. That's actually what I'm going to leave it as. And then as far as getting into here from the shop, I'm thinking... So the bakery stuff will probably come out here so I can have a door right here. Actually, maybe I want to have it a little bit over to avoid messiness from traffic, but we can do perhaps... Um, I'll stick it here for the time being. We can do this kind of door. So I think that works pretty well. But now I'm going to get to the furnishing of this area in here. So as far as the flooring goes, I was thinking about using this. And I will try to use brighter colors in the interior here because the outside does use dark colors. Uh, I think this... you know, let's go for this light. Yeah, we'll do this. And then I'll get another one over here in the entrance. Maybe I'll go with a white color for the store here. Yeah, I think that works. It's nice and bright. Bright is good. Bright is definitely what we want. First off, what I should definitely do is... Um, oh, right, right. Um, get the... Get, like, the stuff we need for business. That will not... That will only place here. Okay, so we need the the hot clove or not hot clove rack um hot pastry rack yeah so we'll do that and i can also put the refrigerated one upstairs um actually let me just stick that up there just plop it up there now and oh great we got the roof going up oh you know actually all i have to do is just to shift and boop there we go it's gone i don't know why i just went boop uh, but anyway we can probably fit in can we fit in a couple of these? We could probably fit in a couple of these. Actually, maybe just one because I do want to have a corner counter here, like corner counter. And then we do have to have room for the register and such. So I think I'll stick with just one case. And let's see what colors we have. We have white. As far as the island goes, I'm going to try this one right here. So I'm just going to line it up. Probably won't stick with this color, but... As far as the styling goes, I do like this one. I wish that they actually had this in counter form and not just island, because I actually like the style of it compared to the other ones. I find that the counters that are in the game are either more modern than I want or more traditional than I want, so I just really wish there was something more in between. Uh, kind of like what you see on HGTV shows, like, you know, the, the current style of counters. I really do hope that's something they add in soon. Um, you know, um, hopefully they won't eventually. That's always kind of been lacking in the Sims games. But, yep, okay, I think that's good. So let's get the last counterpiece in here, and then I'll figure out the color. I might end up actually changing the floor, because uh, I don't know... I don't particularly like the lighter color that comes with this, like this one, the very hospital-y type color, but then I also don't want to go... Like, have dark counters with dark floors, because I am trying to bring things up in here a bit. But I do think... I don't know, I kind of like this. I just find this one very warm and inviting looking. Yeah, I think the black case looks best with that, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to find some lighter colored flooring. Looked around the flooring a bit, so I think this is going to be what I go with for the time being. So wood here, and then this tile that I originally had here. So I will scoot everything forward just so it comes up to the border between the wood and the tile, because I don't like being able to see it through there. So I'll just be scooching this up, and I know I'm going for darker colors, which I said I was going to try not to do, but this is just personally what I feel looks best, and I will make up for it by using brighter colors on the walls and furniture. Um, I'll do my best to counter it and just make everything else bright, but yeah, I actually do like how this looks. Now what I want to do is put some counters back here. I really am saddened that these don't come in actual counter form, just because that would look a lot better. I do wonder, so if I turn it around 
this way and then move this in a little bit closer. Will it poke through? Yes, it will. Actually, so if we get it to not poke through, does it look decent? Hmm, I think it looks decent, but if I try to get a sink on it, it's going to be facing the wrong way. And I don't think that... Oh! Oh, never mind. We're good. We're good. We can have a sink back there. Uh, just for employees to sort of wash their hands as they go... You know, as they go to grab stuff. I don't know. They might be back here and just need to wash their hands or something like that. And then I was thinking we could put shelves up above it. And I do have the show hidden objects sheet on. I was informed by a couple of you in the last part that the show hidden objects objects will now actually show up in downloads, which is good. Because uh, I've really been wanting to use this stuff, but I've just been holding off on it because I don't want to have it be where people download a lot and a whole bunch of stuff is just missing. But anyway, I think there's some bread type objects in that. So I was thinking that I could just have all that on the shelves here, like it's just extra items and there's plates and stuff too. So I can just stick a whole bunch of that stuff along these shelves here. I think that would give a nice realistic look. So actually, I'm gonna... I think I... yeah, I did that. So I'm just gonna do that. So that way, you know, we, we have a good bit of space up here above the sink, so, you know, you're not washing your hands and staring right at something or potentially, like, breathing all over it. But I'm gonna go find all of those little unlocked things. Here are all the various food-type items. Ooh, we can add this. Actually, this is probably something that should go in the kitchen. Uh, what is... Ooh, what is that? It's like mush. Oh, this is really cool. I actually haven't looked into this too much before because I just didn't use it. Um, <laughs> single potato chip. Oh, this is all pretty cool. Um, so anyway, we can uh, we can have a bowl here. Uh, kind of like maybe it was just something used by a customer or something, and they just put it up there to be washed. Although well, that would probably be washed in the kitchen, but you know, you could pretend that maybe they just stuck it there temporarily. I mean, if it's fitting to have it near the sink. Oh, oh, goo bottle. That's really... Oh, all these are so cool. Oh, that works. <laughs> I don't... They'll probably try to... Ooh, coffee mug. You know, that... That would actually... You know, some of these dishes could actually be put up here. That would probably work a little bit better. Um, so this can just be like... Oh, right. Okay, so you can't copy that. So this can just be like where they put all the dishes that they're going to serve things in. Actually, we should probably get a cup there instead, and yeah, we can leave that there, just so, you know, something that they need to take care of washing. I was hoping to see... Um, so we have some food. That can go back in the kitchen. Uh, also, there were a couple of you who said it'd be really cool to have a farmer's market back there, so I can totally have a stand with little fruits and such placed all over the place. That'd be really awesome to do. Uh, oh, we can get some martini type classes up there. Uh, let me actually go back and put... So maybe I won't have bread on these. I, I actually don't even know if there's a bread type item. I've just seen where in bakeries they'll just have shelves filled with bread, but it might actually make... You know, maybe we want to get rid of this in here. I think that that does look pretty cool. You know, like someone wants a baked good, they just go up there, grab a plate. Okay, so actually I could probably, if I wanted to be... I could make it look like these are stacked. It would just be really tedious to try to make it be like plates are stacked, but I can kind of try it. Oh, that's kind of a pain in the butt because I can't do shift when I put them down. It won't copy it. Yeah, so if I hold shift down while placing, it won't even... Um, you know what? I, I'm not going to worry about it. If you guys really want me to make it look like the plates are stacked, I can definitely take the time to do that. What I could do, so over here near the sink, I could keep it as just dishes, but then I could also put shelves over here and place these cupcakes on them. Uh, that could be really fun to do. So, oh, right, right, I can't clone it. So I'm just going to stick a whole bunch of bowls and such up here. Uh, we can also put some of these back in the kitchen, but... Uh, you know, this is more mix... Okay, that's a mixing bowl, so we can have the mixing bowls go back in the kitchen and then have all the serving-type dishes right in here. Uh, that makes sense to me. Might not make... I don't know, sometimes things that make sense to me don't really make sense to everyone else. Um, everyone's mind works a little bit different. Instant hygiene. 
Mm. Where were they? I lost them? Oh, oh, here they are. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna really quickly stick just a whole bunch of these up here. I and I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's no other color options for them. And then I can fill in the space because there's a bunch of space in between. I can fill that up with some glasses. I do think the glasses fit. Why do I keep trying to clone this? I think the glasses fit nicely in there. Oh, yeah, pretty nicely. Yeah, we'll just shove that in there. And we can get some more. Oh, that nicely fits in there. I think, oh yeah, coffee mug. I should have had a coffee mug. Or not. I'll just, yeah, I'll just leave it as that for the time being. I should also get the wallpaper figured out. So what I'm thinking is a white stucco kind of wallpaper. Actually, does this come in white? This is a little more flavorful. Eh, we go for more of a clean modern look. So I could do this, like do a white stucco and then behind here, ha oh no! Oh, okay, actually, let me get the... So like a, a tiled accent wall by, behind here, I actually do like this blue color. Although I suppose I should do something a little bit brighter. I do like the blue. We could also go with green. The green is a little bit brighter, but I will look through the tiled walls. I do like that tile. This one's also pretty cool. We could go for even a brighter blue. Oh, this one actually is pretty nice. I'm gonna go for the mosaic kind of. Yeah, let me compare it to... Yeah, I like this. Okay, that is a little bit brighter, and then I'm gonna see how using just a... what was it? it was Pure, oh, plaster makes perfect, has a little bit more to it. This one is brighter though. So I'm gonna see what it looks like if I do this. This might be too plain, but it is bright without, uh, cause I just don't wanna, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I kinda like the look of the white with the tile. We can also have the tile wrap around onto this. We can just have it go around this whole thing here. Yeah, so I like that. We can have wall decorations to also fill in the rest of it. But I'm going to get back to the shelves. So, like I said, I'm going to put some shelves up here and have some cupcakes on them. I guess the, more so that the customers can just kind of point at them and say they want them. I'm not sure if they're actually going to be able to purchase them or not. But I'm just going to move it over here. And we can have a couple of couple layers of shelves. So stick another one here. You might be able to mark them for sale. Uh, I'm not sure how that works with the debug items, but I'm just gonna search for debug again to get to all that stuff. And so let's find those cupcakes. Is that bacon? A uh, bacon cupcake. Oh, cool. I think there were ones on plates though. We probably want the ones on plates. Ah, here are the cupcakes on plates. Yeah, so we can just arrange these all nicely right here. I, yeah, I guess these four are the only variety. Uh, meh, we can just kind of... Oh, here's another one. Yeah, so we'll do... Oh, oh, there's another one also. So I think that's about that. that uh, that's about it. Oh, there's also these book displays in here too, which would be really good for the comic book store. But I'm going to put some... We'll do this all the way across. And I probably should replace some of the doubles with those newly discovered cupcakes. So what did I repeat? I repeated this. Are you? I what? Oh. 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 Okay. I can't delete that. Huh. Okay. That's good to know. Once you place one of these, once you place the cupcakes, they're there. Okay. Well, it looks like we're stuck with that. You know. On second thought, maybe it would be better to just have. Oh, good. That's not going to delete everything. It might be better just to have the stucco there and leave it only the tile along the wall here where the bakery is. Moving on from that, I'm just going to grab some things here from the bakery room really quick. Uh, so I'll just, that's probably not the best spot for menu type thing, but I do like it for filling it out. I'll put another actual menu here. I mean, at least it's somewhere where if someone's at the register, they can just easily look at it. So that actually might not be that bad of a spot. And then this one's right here where they can look at it near the register. Oh, we should also... Oh, I forgot to put signs out front. We definitely have to do that. There is a sandwich board type sign that would work really well. I can also add 
this in, just trying to make this go a little bit quicker. And then uh, we could, ooh, I like this. We could add this above the door. I do want to, ch okay, never mind. We can't change the color. Oh, we should definitely add this in here as well. And then get this in somewhere. I'll, I'll rearrange it a bit better, but I'm just gonna, I'm just sticking things out for now. We could also get another light out here. Yeah, so we can just have a light uh, right here. We'll just do that. And uh, I should probably figure out where exactly I want this. So I can just kind of stick it in the center here, like so. I think that works. Uh, let's check out some color options. I would like to not have a white border against a white wall. I do like the look of the wood here. I think a plant, uh, having a plant on the ground next to it would also look really nice. So we can go with this one here, which came with Get to Work. The blue, yeah, the blue ties in with the blue behind the bakery, so I'll leave that. And we'll do that. Something else I just thought of is that uh, this might be getting a little bit too too into the details, but I could take these coffee mugs. Oh, nice. Yes, we can stick coffee mugs on this. Cool, I don't even, they just snap. I don't even, oh, there is bread. Uh, it doesn't look so good. Yeah, there is this stuff, but it's not on plates. Although I, I could, uh, that, that's just, that would just, entail filling all the slots and then raising it up because it doesn't look right unless it's on a plate. Uh, detail I don't really want to spend a ton of time on, but I do think that's putting a bunch of coffee mugs on this, you know, like their coffee mugs for sale. It does work really well. So I just have that all filled up with coffee mugs as well. Like maybe these are coffee bags. Right here we could just have a couple counters and that would work pretty well. The only point is, the only problem is if we want it to match we do have to use this same one here and I can do the thing I did over there where I just moved it back just to where you couldn't see the counter popping through. Okay, it's doing it there. Ah, there we go. That works. Okay, so we'll just stick another one in next to that. And then we can get a coffee machine on it, put some more coffee mugs on it. Oh, you know, actually... No, I was going to say maybe I could use that rack decoration. But, eh. I think this one looks the most industrial. I'll just change it to that color. We could also stick a tea machine here because there is some room. And I could stick a little flower on there. I could I could just leave a mug on it. Like just, oh, oh, right, right. I can't clone. Okay, so we just have to type in search for debug and then get it to pop up that way. We could just have a coffee mug. Just like a couple coffee mugs like they were just left there. I think that could work. I'm sticking coffee mugs all over the place here. And then, like I said, a little plant. I do like the looks of this one, so I just have to fill up all the slots so that I can stick the stick one wherever I want because I do want it to be centered. I actually don't know if this is the plant I want to go with. I want to perhaps go with something a little bit more a little bit more modern. Actually, this one here works fine. So we'll just get it right up there and then change it to this one, nice and bright. And okay, all of the excess plants are, oh, nope, I left two behind. Oh wait, what did I just, oh, okay. All right, that's gone. And then behind here, we could use a painting I do want to check out the debug paintings. Oh, okay, here they are. Oh, that actually looks really nice. Alright, so that's the only color for it, but I do like how it looks in there. Although it probably would be... Oh, that's too much room. I do wish that I could change this to a color that's a little bit more... Uh, actually, it could... Oh, oh. Never mind, let me get rid of this. And, oh, this does come in some other colors. So let's choose something nice and bright. Okay, I like that. So it doesn't really exact it doesn't exactly fit in with a coffee kind of a theme, but I still do like how it looks. I actually do want to change that plant now. Uh, let's just not search for debug stuff. And I will put this one here instead and change it to the light blue color. 
I might replace, yeah, I think I'm gonna replace these counters with a different one. So I'll just move that away, scooch this, make it snap onto that. And there we go. Yeah, I think these industrial ones here look a little bit better. I should probably also have a floor mat on the door here, so I think we could do, you know, we could do something a little, you know, a little more interesting and have this one here make it a, uh, maybe that, like a light green. I think that works pretty well. And then over here, I could even do the larger version of that. That actually could look pretty nice. So let's get a look at how this looks. Alright, yeah, I like that. Might be a better color option though for over here. Could even go with gray. I know it's neutral and I probably should avoid neutral, but... Uh, yeah, maybe that looks fine. I'll leave it. You guys can let me know what you think. Oh, I think I like this one more. Yeah, I'll stick with that. I just, I, I don't really like to have too many different colors going on. Oh, I should probably add paper towels right here. So I think those are in here. Ah, here they are. We'll just do that. We'll just add that in there. I think that's enough for this area right here. I can definitely fill it in a little bit more. Although another idea I just had was that I could put in that little coffee rack. Uh, I think I, if I type in... Um, anyway, I could put this in, this coffee mug, just have it right there. Like, it's some mugs that are, some more mugs that are for sale right here. I think that would actually look pretty neat. And another, another plant, maybe? Could be getting a little too crowded in here. I actually sort of like it though, so I'll leave it. Um, I'll, I'll do something other than blue and green in other stores. I'm just, I don't know, trying to make it a little bit easier on myself, I guess. But, um, I don't know if having a cake display would work really well, just because... I feel like it might look sort of odd if I had a table in here just with a bunch of cakes on it. So I don't know that I'm gonna do that. You know, I still could, or I could put one right here, so it's more so for inside of the store. But in this corner here, I'm gonna put... You know, actually, what I should do is have a table in front of the window. That would actually look a little bit, work a little bit better, like just have a little... Even though this isn't really going to have much in the way of tables and chairs, and I could still have something right here. I don't know if I want to use this thing from the luxury party stuff. Oh, uh, what kind of... I think I'm going... I think for this I want a little bit more of... No, we could go a more traditional route and use this. I could use, you know, actually I'll probably use this up in the restaurant area downstairs, or upstairs actually. And then, um, I'm just trying to get through this a little bit quicker. I could use this. I think this is the one that matches this. Yeah, I think this goes with the table, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Yeah, we'll just go with that over here. So there's just a little area to sit and enjoy some coffee. And I feel like there needs to be something in this corner here, so I'm just going to stick a plant. I did take this one away from the other spot, so I'll put it here. And I'll just go with that, as far as the walls go. Oh, I like this. We'll go with this. We can size it up a little bit and have it right there. Um, I'm still like... I don't want to go for neutral color for this, but it's just like... With a lot of the tiles, it's blue and then neutral colors. Uh, so I, I I might just end up changing that. Let me know what you think of this and whether it should be changed. Because uh, what I could do is make this a neutral color and then I could go a little crazier with a rug and some other stuff in this room. Uh, yeah, so I definitely want to know what you think. I should probably also put... Let me see if there's like... If there's a nice hanging type light that could go over this. I don't know, like how that looks. We could do that. Oh, wait, never mind. There's no ceiling there, so it would just be a floating light. Actually scratch that. So I, what I actually could do is go with a wall light instead. Like we could use this one, just put up here above the window. I'll just leave that for the time being. I do think it would also look nice if there was another little cake in this window, since this one, this is a window in the front. 
So for this one here, I'll go with that cake color. Yeah, I think that's looking a little better. So if we go up here, actually, I think it would look a bit better if I went like, if I had this come over like this. Yeah, I think that makes a little more sense. Oh, I didn't realize this was floating. Actually, I'm going to move this over in here a little more. That I'll have another one in right here. So there's not really, there's just really not a whole lot of seating, but at least there is some. And I'll just move this over a little bit so it doesn't intersect the doorway as much. I'm just have it right there. And then we could have another one of these lights right up above it. Right, we'll get that about the same level, and then I think another painting above that would work really well. I could try this splashy painting, and um, I think this color actually works kind of well. Eh, let's just go for the brighter color. I'll just go for something a little more bold. So this is kind of what I, we got. I am going to be ending this part soon. I think it's been going on long enough. I unfortunately didn't get the kitchen done like I wanted to, but in the next part I'll get the kitchen done and the trinket shop. The kitchen shouldn't take too long. Kitchens are usually fairly easy, but definitely let me know what you think of everything that I did here in the bakery. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye!